Lisa Turkhurst announces divorce after battling to save her marriage. Divorce in Christian circles is a topic that is frowned upon by several people. While most individuals believe that it is okay to break a marriage union, others disagree and maintain that Christians should remain married till death do them part. So for most Christians, before they reach the point where they are declaring it a fail, they've literally done all they can to stay married and it probably still didn't work out. Lisa is an American author who was born in July 1969 and raised alongside three sisters. Her biological parents divorced when she was only a young girl in middle school. On her website, Lisa shares that they were abused as children, resulting in the separation. At the age of 12, the speaker's mother met her stepdad. Lisa grew up in a Christian home, but unfortunately when she was only in sophomore year, she lost her sister. Her sister was only 16 months old at the time, and she was diagnosed with liver failure. This tragic incident shook Lisa's faith, causing her to turn away from God because she was so angry and that God was unfair, yet she had done her best to be a good girl. Later on, during that time, she had, her world views were challenged by her close friend, who Lisa refers to as the Bible friend. This woman patiently drew Lisa back to Christ by encouraging her and sending relevant Bible verses in the various seasons she went through. We all need friends like that, right? Who won't judge you, but they'll stick with you as you go through the different changes instead of judging you. Lisa attended a local high school before proceeding to join Farman University. In college, she joined a popular sorority and started dating a famous football player. Today, Lisa is a prophetic author with over 10 books to her name. She's also the president of Proverbs 31 Ministries. Lisa met her husband, Art, at a Bible study and they started dating shortly afterwards. The lovers tied the knot in 1993. Now, their family comprises of three biological daughters, Hope, Ashley, Brooke, and two adoptive sons, Mark and Jackson. They have three grandchildren. However, the union of Lisa and her husband has not been smooth sailing. In 2008, Lisa disclosed that she had undergone an abortion after getting pregnant out of wedlock, a decision she made out of fear that society would judge her. But nevertheless, the two lovebirds tied the knot after a few years, but there was trouble in paradise. In 2018, Lisa announced their divorce, citing Art's infidelity and substance abuse. Um, I wish that the story would have been that my husband came to me and admitted uh, what was happening, but that's not what, um, that's not what happened. I discovered it, and I immediately felt like my world was imploding in a way that I never, ever, ever thought that it would. I, I never thought this would be my story. And um, so basically I found out that, um, that he'd been having some struggles with some addictions. I found out that first and, um, and then felt like maybe that explained away some of the behavior that um, that I was discerning wasn't right. I have a very discerning spirit. The problem is that just because you have discernment, discernment doesn't give you details. Right. And so that's where a lot of people live if they're in close community with someone and they're feeling like something isn't right. Um, they're discerning something is right, but they can't figure out the details. And that is a really difficult place to live. So that's where I lived for a long time. The unresolved abortion issue was also a recurrent issue in their marriage. According to Lisa, the couple had tried to save their marriage through counseling, but Art refused to repent and call off his affair. Unfortunately, shortly after making this decision, Lisa was diagnosed with breast cancer and had to undergo surgery. And during that time, the decision to separate was quickly turned around. Lisa and Art got back together. Lisa shared that she firmly believes that the only way to get past the heart is forgiveness. So she stayed married after they renewed their relationship and their vows. But that did not stop the trouble from 
happening again in paradise. Yesterday, Lisa posted this on her Facebook page. This year looked very different than I thought it would. It's been a year of waiting, listening to God, grieving and taking some time off to process and heal. As many of you know, three years ago, Art and I renewed our marriage vows after a painful separation. It has crushed my heart to know he has broken those vows. Over the past several years, I have fought really hard to not just save my marriage, but to survive the devastation of what consistent deception of one spouse does to the other. It's brutal and heart-crushing to constantly fear the hurtful choices of someone you love. I've had to learn the hard way there is a big difference between mistakes, which we all make, and chosen patterns of behavior that dishonor God and the biblical covenant of marriage. I now believe the wisest and hardest choice I can make is to stop fighting to save my marriage of 29 years and instead accept reality. While there is clear biblical justification for my decision to end this marriage, I'm choosing to hold most of the details private out of respect for our children and grandchildren and to give space and privacy for my family and me to continue to heal. It's hard to face a future that looks nothing like what I desperately and constantly prayed it would look like. I don't like this reality, but the truth is relationship restoration doesn't always work. I've cried and grieved over this and waited years, hoping this wouldn't be our story. But even when restoration doesn't work, forgiveness always does. I've never been more grateful for the healing, redemption God has done in my heart through the power of forgiveness. Bitterness and resentment could be eating me alive, but miraculously, that's not what I'm at. With time, prayer, and lots of counseling, my heart is healing. Sometimes the culmination of all our efforts and the answers to our prayers is that God restores us in relationships and sometimes he rescues us out of relationships. I don't understand why circumstances sometimes go the way my story is now going, but I'm standing firm in my faith and trusting God with every step. My family and I treasure your prayers and your compassion. This year has been really hard for me and my family. And honestly, I've had many moments recently where I just needed some solid truth to stand on. I just needed to know that God was near me. I needed to feel His embrace. 